this, this pathetic mess after she'd been dumped by her boyfriend, Mike. Yes, she had joined, joined Toastmasters and had thrown it, set herself into its wonders full force, but it was time to move on in the romantic world. Please welcome Janine as she jumps into another new world with her speech entitled, Tell Me a Story. I didn't cry. And then one day, the veil of lift sadness seemed to lift. And I walked into the ladies' room at work, and I noticed my friend Erica. And she's peering in the mirror, <laughs> doing the makeup thing. And I said to her, where are you off to? She said, I've got a date. <laughs> Mr. Wright. <laughs> and I thought about it for a minute and I said, where are you getting all these men? She said, I'm um, dating. You know, Janine, it's time for you to get a life. Get over, Mike, <laughs> and move on. Online dating is the go. But let me warn you, it's hard. Now, for all of you that know me, no, I'm not good at heart. <laughs> but I did what you're supposed to do. Posted a profile, wrote a little blurb about myself, realistic enough photo, my <laughs> likes, my dislikes, they should have a job, no children, should live in LA, and be over 5'11". How hard could that be? <laughs> so I had to work out a strategy where it was going to be more fun than work. So there was a local bar right near my house. Very romantic and had big booze to have a drink in. So my plan was this. After a minimal amount of small talk, I would ask them for their most interesting date story. Bachelor number one. <laughs> now, bachelor number one had that look of yeah, I'm devastating, aren't I? You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, I noticed he was a little bit shorter than his photograph. <laughs> so I asked him his story. Well, I was talking to this woman online. In fact, we even talked on the phone. And I decided that we should go out and eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get to her house, she opens the door, and she's 60 pounds heavier than a photo. <laughs> oh, really? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Turned on my heels, went straight back to my car. Enough said. Thank you for playing bachelor number one. <laughs> Bachelor number two <laughs> got there first. That's a good sign, right? And as cute as a little button in a cute little button. <laughs> really, really a nice button. So, tell me a story. Well, I was dating, I was setting up a date with this woman. I get to the meeting place and she's 40 pounds heavier than a photo. <laughs> Really? What did you do? Well, I went through with it. <laughs> she was a nice woman. I was clearly disappointed. Did you see her again? No, because you know. Okay, so I had a good time until we walked out to the parking lot. And on our way out to the parking lot, I noticed that bachelor number two was five feet tall. <laughs> Said, my height doesn't bother you, does it? <laughs> I looked down and said, no. Did 
guys see him again? No. <laughs> now, <clears throat> stories reveal us. And a perfect example is Ryan Lochte when wow. he was in Rio. Now, this man, handsome, Olympic swimmer, got the gold medals, fabricates a story about how he was robbed dramatically at gunpoint. Now the truth finally unravels. <laughs> and we find out that Mr. Lochte feels that he over-exaggerated his story. <laughs> now I did not know there was such a term. <laughs> the way I was brought up it is liar, liar, speedo song. <laughs> he went from famous to infamous overnight. And the way he chose to tell his story revealed him as, what's the word of the day? Superficial. Superficial, Superficial <laughs> little creep that he was. Now I want you to think about it. When you go for a job interview, there are questions called situational questions. Peter, tell me about a time you had a difficult employee to deal with. Or, Margaret, tell me about a time when you had to discipline an employee. All they're saying is, tell me a story. Mm. And if I like your story, I might hide it. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in this room knows that stories reveal us. They can have you hired or fired. <laughs> they can make you loved or loathed. So, next time I see you, I want you to tell me a story. <laughs> 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 <laughs>